Okay, so uh, this is going to be a big part where we are going to create our, uh, hopefully in the end we will have our dashboard with all our widgets, not hopefully, we're gonna have it. And <clears throat> so uh, we have to first understand uh, uh, different elements that we have in uh, performance analytics. We do have indicator source, automated indicators, and a lot of other things like jobs, uh, breakdown, breakdown mapping. So we need to understand that. So first thing we are going to cover the theoretical part uh, uh, to understand better what's going on here. And we are going, later on we are going to create them. So indicators or indicator source and use them in, uh, in our widgets. Finally, vi visualize our result, okay? So it is better that I give you the theoretical explanation in the beginning and we create it and then we see the result. So this is basically kind of the flow that I'm going to adopt now. So I guess this is going to be better than showing you directly how to create an indicator source and uh, create a breakdown mapping and not understanding it. <clears throat> okay, so in performance analytics, we have uh, uh, what we call an indicator source. Uh, that's very simple it is a filtered data source okay we have our covid 19 cases table and on that table we can create an indicator source which is actually a filtered data set okay we want a specific data the covid 19 cases app has more than 15,000 records but i don't want them all of them i i just need few of them so what i can do is apply some conditions uh, i can say here for example i want only few records the records it's only all the records created on daily basis for example today I don't want the records created uh, two months ago and also the confirmed cases should be more than zero okay these are the two conditions that I'm putting and this is the specific indicator source that I want to create okay and it should be create uh, this one the indicator source should be generated on the on a certain frequency and it will be done on a daily frequency okay that's why I have here the frequency here. So these are the things that we have to mention when you actually create uh, your indicator source. You are going to mention which table, what is the frequency, what is the condition. The second one is the automated indicators. The automated indicators, they are the ones which is going to actually uh, will help you to calculate some specific results such as the total number of dead cases or confirmed cases or recovered cases. So we can use for that and in automated indicators. So in our case, we are going to create one or um, many, but we are going to create a automated indicators, which is actually going to sum, for example, the total number of deaths or total number of recovered cases. So we'll be using uh, that function and then on which field. So we are, we'll be mentioning for which field you should calculate. So it's going to be the recover field. And also mentioning, we should also mention what is the frequency, on which frequency you should go to your indicator source and calculate these uh, numbers and return the result okay so the frequency that you have to mention and it is a highly important to have the same frequency for both of them okay indicator source should have daily and automated indicators should have also daily if you want to use if you want to apply if you want to use this automated indicator for this indicator source okay um, that's it so let's create our indicator source and then our uh, automated indicators so we can have the result for the total number of dead, total number of recovered total number of confirmed i mean the the global result 